Hey, thanks for stopping by Casks in Q or Whiskey and Barbecue Meat. Today I have with me my good friend Henry Turner. Hello. And we are going to be reviewing the 2020 George T. Stag. How about them apples? Oh. Taking what we would call a Christmas break. So some people take that for uh, <laughs> for school. We're breaking from the Advent calendar, having a little fun. And a uh, uh, young man, I'm not for sure, and you have his name, let us share this bottle with us. It, so it's going to be kind of a cool thing to get into. So. Yeah, my buddy Steven lent me this bottle just for the review. So thanks, buddy. Yeah, this is going to be fantastic. What a treat. Yep. As we look at the color of this whiskey, it is beautiful. Mm -hmm. There's, I mean, it's brown. It's got like a hint of a, maybe a, I don't know, kind of a red ruby type color to it's it. A tad bit to it, but it's a nice rich brown color mm -hmm. to it. And the uh, the viscosity, you can see the legs on this thing for days. It's gonna mm. be viscous. Uh, I just know this is gonna be fantastic. It's such a treat. Let's nose it, taste it, and talk about it. I'm excited about yeah. this one. I just read on the back of the bottle, uh, I didn't know this coming in, but uh, George T. Stagg and uh, E.H. Taylor Jr. were actually kind of partnered on this whiskey. With this nose, I could live in this. I could sit up here and do this the rest of the evening. This is like holiday banana nut bread or pumpkin bread, like yeah. all that rich brown sugar, molasses, cinnamon, spices. After it's just freshly baked, and then you, you slice it up, then you toast it in the oven, <laughs> then you put some butter on it, then you put a little extra sugar and cinnamon. Man, this reminds me of all those good holiday things. Oh, man, you're, you're dead on. Oh, my goodness. The holiday spice, the sweetness, <sighs> the richness, uh, the complexity of the nose is incredible. Mm. It's like once you kind of you think you nail down, hey, this is kind of spicy and oaky, then something else pops up, and it's like, okay, well, no, it's more rich and toffee forward, and then you're like, oh no, nope, there's there's more holiday baking spices in here. It's I mean, it's all over the place, and there's so many. I don't have the the experience to really dissect what's in this glass. Me either, and this is like you know, this is a celebration pour, holiday pour, all baked into one. It's fantastic. Yeah, this is you know. I've had this once before. My buddy that lent us this bottle, um, we had some at his house one night, and that was probably three, four years ago. So, um, let me taste this one. Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> 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 this is 130.4. 130.4 4 proof. So, Oh, we'll oh, get into all the tasting, right? That hug is, you know, sometimes the hug is kind of like, uh, this is like a warm cloth when you're, like if you've ever been sick and you're back in the day, your mom would put like a warm cloth or you know, towel on your chest to help you kind of breathe. That's what it reminds me of, like a, a true gentle hug, <laughs> as it were. So the way that I would explain this particular pour is, you know when you're getting onto the highway and you were driving a five speed and you were in second <laughs> and you're yeah. giving it a bunch of gas yeah. and then you kick it up to third to get that extra speed. This one right about mid palate has that extra gear <laughs> where that, uh, that this, the flavor's released. It really just starts to really you know jump on your palate. That, that flavor explosion that just comes out of nowhere. Boy. I mean, it's got a second gear and then after that, the third gear is going to be um, well, the fourth gear you would have would be the uh, finish on this thing. So, absolutely delicious <laughs> and exciting and everything else. But that's just me. The first sip that I had is just when you get into it, you get that proof. And then mid palate, that extra gear comes in out of nowhere. It says, all right, now here's your oak and all your spices that come along with this. Just a unicorn pour. Oh, my goodness. That's just me. That's how I feel about it. Sorry. I love it, man. I'm so glad you like it. I, I'm glad I had to wax poetic on this one, you know? 
Um, yeah, it's it's everything that you would expect it to be. Um, I, I think words fall short on this one. I, for me, I don't have the, the vocabulary to really express what this is. I mean, the Christmas cake, I mean, it's just the complexity of it is just, it's, it's insane. Yeah, it tastes like a, a, it tastes like your favorite holiday cake that your your on your favorite aunt or your favorite grandma made mm. that you always look forward to as a kid. That's what this tastes like. You can't have a favorite aunt and a favorite grandma. Well, you, you can, can have, have a favorites. favorite grandma. Yeah. <laughs> you just can't say it. Yeah, yeah, you can't say it out loud, <laughs> but you know who your favorite was, and that's exactly what this tastes like. Just like holiday cake all day long, and I know that. Maybe we're in the Christmas spirit, but that just makes the, what this that's what this makes me think of is just yeah. a great holiday cake in a glass. Sure is, and like and see now I'm getting a lot of toffee all of a sudden. I mean it's just it's almost something different. I can't nail it down. I mean it's just this is above my pay grade as it were for whiskey tasting. So let's have fun with this and rate it. So I'm gonna let you since this is the bottle that you borrowed from your friend. I'll let you talk about the, the pricing on this if you choose to or what you think about it and we'll talk about what it is retail and how hard it is to find. What is uh, that? It's bagpipes. Yeah, where's that coming from? Kelly's home watching TV. <laughs> should we keep it? Yeah, I think we should. Okay. So we have to give a rating. Availability, taste, and value are the three criteria that we use on this channel. Availability, terrible. <laughs> I have never seen this bottle on sale on a shelf for retail ever. Mm -hmm. The only time I've ever seen it bought for retail was at a raffle when somebody won first or second place. Yeah. And that went for about 140 if you were lucky, sometimes up to 200 And that's not a bad price. I've seen it, typically this bottle's between 600 and 800 bucks if you find it on a shelf somewhere. <sighs> I don't want to out my buddy on this. Um, I, did I mention his name? No, you, well, you have mentioned his name already, yeah. So you might just want to say, you don't even have to say the price you don't want to. It's a good story. Yeah. Huh. So the, back in 2020, he calls me up. Uh, one of our local liquor stores had a 12 Days of Christmas raffle going on. I'll get to the, the rating, but this is a good story. <laughs> so he calls me up and he's in a panic. And I was like, hey man, uh, what's going on? Is everything okay? <laughs> he's like, everything's great. But I'm really scared. I just uh, I just hit at the raffle. I was like, okay, what's the problem? He's like, it was George T. Stack. And I was like, ooh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, I don't know what to tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, look, your your brother's a big whiskey guy. Call him up and see if he'll split it with you. And, yeah. and that's that's what he did. And, um, friends don't let yeah. friends go in on whiskey alone, you know? <laughs> he was so scared. It was funny. He was like driving around town thinking <laughs> of what to, how to, how to present this to his wife as a good thing that he, you know. So oh. that was probably a Merry Christmas for my buddy. Yeah, and year. when his wife watches this video now, you'll have to have to do a she little funny. She won't. <laughs> she won't. Uh, so back to the rating. Avail availability, taste, and value. Availability is bad taste. This is a 10. This is a freaking 10. Mm -hmm. 10, that's a 10. Mm -hmm. uh, value, I mean, even at $500 or 600, whatever you said, it's, I mean, if you have that laying around and you want to go buy a whiskey that'll knock your socks off, then I think the value is fantastic. Um, that's to each their own. Um, is it worth that in the whiskey world, in the bourbon world specifically? <clears throat> I don't know. It's close. I mean, I, if you said that you got today, and um, that was 2020. Today, if you came up to me and said, hey, I found George C. Sack for 500 bucks, I'd say buy it. Yeah. That's kind of where I am. So uh, even with all that considered, and those two, you know, availability, bringing it down, and value, maybe a little bit, bringing it, a little bit, bringing it down, I'm still like at a 9.25. Yeah, this is a nine across the board for me, and this is how this lines up. Uh, availability is gonna be a one. Taste is gonna be a 10. Value is gonna be, 8.5 but yeah. this is an LE and this is an LE release so you gotta curve it a little bit on the availability because you know not many of these bottles are gonna hit the market mm -hmm. and then you're talking about 2020 this is one of the better George T. Stags I've ever tasted and so I think it's gonna be a really good expression for anybody that had a chance to get it now my advice on this one if you were going you were on the fence about trying to pay that much for a bottle mm -hmm. 
go to a bar. It might cost you 50 to 100 bucks. Try this at a bar first, and then you can make the decision on if you want to spend the coin on trying to get this bottle. If you had to pay at a secondary store, buy it on secondary. Yeah, sound advice. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Okay, well, that's what we have. Uh, certainly, a, you know, big shout out to the person that allowed us to borrow this bottle. I, I think I mentioned him earlier in the video, so maybe it's already out. Thanks, Stephen. <laughs> hey, if you don't mind, go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Uh, when you smash the bell, it's going to let you know that we've uploaded new content. Henry, thanks for doing this with me and, and enjoying the one of the most prized bottles out there. I know that's real. And look here for everybody out there in the YouTube world. Uh, Enjoy your Christmas break, because this is our Christmas break from the Advent calendar. That's right. We'll see you next time.